Praise the Lord. So in our prayer section today, um, I want to deal with the topic of spiritual robbers. There's something we call spiritual robber. This entity attains powers that steal from us. And I'm um, going to go over three different entities that steals from us. The first one is sin. And when we look at Romans 6, 23, it says, The wages of sin is death. So, sin causes death. It might not be physical death. It can be spiritual death. Sin will separate you from the Lord, from your God. Another thing that steals from you is sickness. Sickness. Jesus has given us victory over death and hell. So, death has no power or hold over our lives anymore in Jesus' name. I want to read First Peter 2, verse 24, in the NLT version. It says, He personally carried our sins in his body on the cross, so that we can be dead to sin and live for what is right. By his wounds, you are healed. That is God's assurance for us that no matter what the sickness is, by stripes, we are healed. The third spiritual robber is the devil. When we look at John 10.10, 10, it says, The thief cometh only to steal, kill, and destroy. So the devil's mission for us is to steal, kill, and destroy. So to steal from you. To steal your joy, to steal your peace, to steal your salvation. We shouldn't allow that to happen to us. We should fight back. Praise the Lord. Thank God for the next verse which says, But God has come to give us life and give us in abundance. God wants to give us abundant life. So we are going to be praying over these three things. And when I'm done, I'm just going to pray over you. I believe the Lord wants to break yokes of um, infirmity. And I pray that the Lord will do this in your life in Jesus' name. I will advise that before you continue with these prayers, uh, go before God in repentance. The first spiritual robber we talked about is sin. The word of God made us to understand that the wages of sin is death. So, Ask for mercy. Ask for mercy. Go before God in repentance. Ask God to cleanse you with the precious blood of His Son, Jesus Christ. Go before the Lord and ask for mercy. Lord, have mercy upon me. Lord, have mercy upon me. Lord, have mercy. I know I've sinned. Lord, cleanse me. Purify my spirit, soul, and body in the name of Jesus. Let the precious blood of Jesus cleanse my heart, cleanse my spirit, cleanse my thoughts. In the name of Jesus, have mercy, forgive me. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, forgive me of all unrighteousness. Let your mercy speak for me. Let the blood of Jesus that speak better than the blood of Abel speak for me and silence the accuser. In the name of Jesus, Father, I thank you, Lord, I bless you. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. The second spiritual robber is sickness and infirmity. So we are going to pray like this. You are going to stand in your authority as a child of God. And you declare like this. I break the power of death and sickness over my life in the name of Jesus. I break the power of death. I break the power of sickness over my life in the name of Jesus. Lose your old over my life. Yes, in the name of Jesus. I crush that power. Your hold over my life. I crush it in the name of Jesus. I command your sting in my life to be destroyed. Neutralize your poison in my veins, in my body. Be neutralized with the blood of Jesus. Be neutralized by the blood of Jesus. Be neutralized by the blood of Jesus. I receive healing in the name of Jesus. I receive healing in the name of Jesus. I receive my healing in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. We are going to pray. 
because we know that there is a spirit called infirmity and we need to destroy that spirit so that it will not dominate our life in Jesus' name. Pray in, with your authority again like this. I command the spirit of infirmity to be bound in the name of Jesus. I command to be bound. I command to be bound. I bind every spirit of infirmity in the name of Jesus. And I terminate your assignment over my life. I terminate your assignment over my family. I terminate your assignment over my destiny in the name of Jesus. Lose your hold over my life. I break your power off my life in the name of Jesus. You spirit of infirmity be bound with shackles and earth chains in the name of Jesus and be cast into the bottomless pit in the name of Jesus. Lose your grip over my life. Lose your hold over my life. I break your legal ground. I destroy it in the name of Jesus. Every access you have in my life let it be neutralized. Let it be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. And I close the doors of my life. In the name of Jesus, I break covenant with the spirit of infirmity. In the name of Jesus, I break covenant with the spirit of infirmity. In the mighty name of Jesus, I break it in the name of Jesus. I'm restored. I'm made whole. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. We are going to pray like this. Blood of Jesus. Be transfused into my blood in the name of Jesus. Be transfused. Be transfused into my blood and make me whole in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Be transfused into my blood. Be transfused into my blood and make me whole in the name of Jesus. Let your blood cleanse my blood in the name of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus wash away every poison, every pollution, every infirmity that is causing sickness in my body. Blood of Jesus, wash them out. Transfuse my blood. Be transfused into my blood in the name of Jesus. Be transfused into my blood in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Pass through my bloodstreams in the name of Jesus and cleanse it. Make it whole and make it holy in the name of Jesus. Let me make it clean. Sanctify it in the name of Jesus. Sanctify my body. Cleanse it in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Father. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Amen. And we're going to pray the last one like this. Because we talked about the enemy as the third spiritual robber. His mission again is still kill and destroy. So we're going to pray that whatsoever the devil has stolen from your life, whatsoever the devil through his agents have stolen from my life, every good thing the enemy has stolen from my life, I command restoration by fire in the name of Jesus. I command restoration by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. I command restoration. I command restoration in the name of Jesus. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Proverbs 6 31 says, but if the enemy is found, he shall restore sevenfold what he has stolen. So I command every power that has stolen from me, I command you to restore sevenfold what you have stolen from me in the name of Jesus. Restore sevenfold what you have stolen from my life, from my destiny in in the name of Jesus, my virtue, my glory, yes, my potential, my health, my peace you have stolen. I command restoration. Yes, sevenfold. In the name of Jesus, I take back my peace. I take back my land. I take back my joy. In the name of Jesus, whatsoever you have taken, in the name of Jesus, return it. Let it be restored back to me. Let it be restored back to me. Let it be restored back to me. In the name of Jesus, Father, Lord, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen. Father, Lord, I thank you for as many that have prayed these prayers, that you touch them in the name of Jesus. I pray that your healing virtues will go through them right now, from the top of the head to the sole of the feet. Let it move like lightning. Let it move like fire through their body, through their blood, through their bones, let them begin to feel that touch in the name of Jesus. Let the presence of God that carries healing, the presence of God that carries healing, let it begin to take out poison in the name of Jesus, to heal these ones in the name of Jesus. Yes, I pray for that knee, that knee cap. Receive a new knee cap in the name of Jesus. The Lord is doing something with that leg. 
I pray that you will, your joints will be healed in Jesus' name. Those ligaments will be healed in the name of Jesus. Yes, you'll be able to move freely now in the name of Jesus. Move freely. Yes, thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, that eyes. The Lord is touching the eyes. Oh, Lord, touch the eyes in the name of Jesus. Yes, remove that cataract. Remove that disease in the name of Jesus. Melt it out with your fire. Melt it out. Melt it out in the name of Jesus. I command the devil, come out of the eyes. And be cast into the bottomless pit in Jesus' name. Come out, devil, come out of the eyes. In the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. Let the eyes be healed permanently in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We continue to pray. Yes, Father Lord. Thank you for that uh, stomach. Whatever is wrong in that stomach, the Lord is untying knots. Whatever is complicated in that stomach. It's been healed now in the name of Jesus. The hand of God is uh, restructuring it and healing you right now in Jesus' name. You will not feel pain anymore. You will not feel discomfort anymore. You are healed. You are healed. Believe it, you are healed. Yes, in the name of Jesus. And that person that is broken hearted, the joy of the Lord is yours in the name of Jesus. The joy of the Lord is your portion. I break that depression of your life right now in the name of Jesus. Let the joy of the Lord flow like river into your heart. Yes, cheer up. The Lord is with you. And the Lord will help you. No more sadness. That oppressive presence in your life is broken now in the name of Jesus. Yes, it's broken. Go forth in joy. Be joyful, be joyful, be joyful, daughter of Zion. Be joyful, be joyful, be joyful. The Lord is with you. Yes, it's taking away all the burdens. It's lifting them off your shoulders. The heavy burdens is being lifted now from off your shoulders. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father Lord. Father, I thank you for these ones you have touched. Thank you for this breakthrough, Lord. And that person that the enemy has locked up, I break that chains of your life in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. And that person that your wedding ring was stolen, was stolen, receive your ring back in the name of Jesus. Receive it back. Receive your marriage back. Receive your authority back in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless your name, O Lord, for what you have done today. We pray, O Lord, that testimony will follow in Jesus' name. We pray, O Lord, that you seal it with your blood. And this testimony will be permanent in the life of your children in Jesus' name. Let them come back with joy and laughter in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name. May your name be glorified, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. As we go forth, O oh Lord, let us find you and let our joy be full in Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Amen in Jesus' name. Amen. It is well with you. God bless you. I believe this has blessed you. Please share. Share to your friends. Let them be blessed too. The word has gone forth. I pray that if you are the one that the Lord has touched, please, uh, we'd love to hear from you. Just put it on the chat and please share this broadcast. Uh, this will encourage us to do more. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.